Hey guys, so today... Hi guys, so today's video is my October favourites and recent purchases. It's mainly going to be recent purchases because my October favourites are a lot like last month. They don't change a lot. So, let's just get right into it. My first October favourite that I've been wearing a lot this month has been false eyelashes. Um, I've only just recently gotten into them, like, as in past probably nine, nine or so months. Um, just because I've been too afraid to use them. Like, putting glue on your eyelids doesn't really appeal to me. <laughs> But I really love the look of them, so I really wanted to work out a way that I could wear them without freaking myself out. <laughs> so all this year I've been experimenting with false eyelashes and I've really grown to love them and each time I use them it gets easier to put them on and wear them and everything. So I just thought I'd show you a few pairs that I've really been enjoying. So the first pair is, I haven't cleaned them. <laughs> I wore them the other night so they're a little bit dirty but I'll do a close-up shot of these so you can actually see them. <laughs> um, but these ones are by Ardell and I do believe that they are the 120 Demi Lashes. I really really love these ones. They're a full lash and they're extremely flexible and that's because the band is actually clear and I don't know, it's really hard to explain. You'll be able to see it in the close-up. But um, they're so flexible, which means they're so easy to put on and make them stay there. And they're quite comfortable once I actually get them in the right places. <laughs> and um, yeah, I really, really like these ones. They're really great. Um, the next pair I haven't used yet. They only cost me $1.50. <laughs> They're by My Accessory Glamour Lashes, and this is style number four. So these ones are pretty much what I love in a lash. So they're short, um, close to the inner corner of the eye, and then they really flare to like a cat eye um, towards the outer corner, which is what I really love. And I haven't used them yet, but I have used some other half lashes by um, My Accessory, and I really, really like them. So I'm excited to try these ones out and, you know, costing only $1.50, you can't go wrong there. And the uh, last ones I have to show you, they're in the same packet, so, I mean, I don't think this is even the packet they came in. <laughs> but, um, so I'm not really sure who they're by. I think, I think these half demi ones here, I think they're by Coastal Scents, I think. And then the other ones are by NYX. And I think they're um, Review or Rebel or something like that. Anyway, I'll have that all, all the links in the down bar for you. But um, yeah, so I really, I really love um, uh, half lashes so you can get that cat eye effect like what I'm wearing today. But, and I'm slowly getting into full lashes. But um, yeah, these are really good. I really like them. Excellent. Oh, and the lash glue that I use is, of course, the Duo Lash Glue, which is awesome and amazing. Comes off really easy. Fabulous. Love it. Um, oh, I have a video coming up about how to clean and look after your false eyelashes, so keep an eye out for that. My next favourite for October, which I've been doing a lot this month, is lining my upper waterline with a black eyeliner. I find the type of eyeliner that really lasts the longest is gel eyeliner. So the eyeliner I've been using is Max Fluid Line Gel Eyeliner in Black Track. And the brush that I use to apply is my Sigma E65. And that's just a angle brush, but it's a really, really good brush to apply um, gel eyeliner to your waterline and I find it stays on a lot longer than pencil like um, like the Milani uh, liquify pencil or uh, what else have I been using Urban Decay's glide on pencil in zero yeah I find this works a lot better and it just adds a lot of volume to your lashes without looking like you've got eyeliner on 
so I really really like the effect of that. And my other beauty favourite for this month has been the e.l.f. contouring and blush duo. I do find that the uh, contouring shade is quite dark for my skin tone as you can tell but it's really easy to blend out so you can see it when you first put it on in a really harsh line but of course then you blend it out and it's really easy and I really really like it. I have to burn candles as you probably have already figured out now and um, a couple weeks ago or months I'm not sure um, Target was having a sale on their like homeware sort of things and they had these giant candles for nine dollars like I'm not kidding you Look, it's as big as my head. Isn't that ginormous? <laughs> so they come in uh, vanilla, which is what this one is. Um, and I think the other one was lavender, but it did not smell like lavender at all. It was horrible. But this one smells so good. And I've pretty much burnt it like all the time since I've bought it. Almost every night because I love candles. But it's, it's I, I was quite skeptical when I did first buy it because I thought it being from Target and being cheap, um, I didn't think it was going to burn evenly, you know. But, I don't know if you can tell, it has burnt quite evenly. You know, apart from <laughs> that big mess there. But it's kind of, you know, melted down and stuff. So it's burnt quite evenly. Only $9. However, now they're back up to $15 in Target. So I should have bought two at that time. Didn't think of it, but I should have done it. <laughs> Alright, now that's it for my favourites. Moving on to my October recent purchases and I'm going to breeze through these because I don't want this video being too long. <laughs> so, where I'm going to start, I'll just start with my candles. Um, I love Dusk. Dusk is one of my favourite shops here in Australia and it, it's a candle shop. Candle and decor, if you didn't know. And, um, so, <laughs> whenever, because we don't have one where I live, so whenever we go to somewhere where it has a, where it has a dust, I like buy in bulk. <laughs> so the first one that I have is the dust container, uh, which burns for 25 hours. It burns for 50 hours, okay. Um, and this is Honolulu and it is frangipani and it is beautiful. The second one that I got is Cambridge. And I know I've shown this to you guys in another recent purchases video. But anyway, Gardenia, Lily of the Valley, and Fresh Fruits. Now this one's funny because this says burns up to 70 hours, whereas this one says burns up to 50 hours. Hmm. Anyway, that's them. And then they have a sale of like, you know, if you get 10 votives, which are little candles like this, then you get 25% uh, off. So I bought 10. Um, two I'm burning back there and they are <sighs> love and rejuvenate I think but I will put just to save time I will put what each one smells like in the down bar below next to links to the actual candle so you can go check it out if you want to so first one I got was spirituality Rio which is really nice um, another rejuvenate Passion, which is really nice I've just been getting into and then I got two harmonies because I love them so much and I think they're lavender mixed with gardenia and then I just got another Honolulu and another Cambridge but I will put all of the details below in the down bar what they all smell like and links to the actual candles and my okay so like move <laughs> All over the place today. Alright, so moving on to um, beauty products, um, beauty and fashion and stuff. I, and I, I don't think it's any secret that I love rose gold jewellery, as does like most of the world, it seems. So I recently got some really pretty rose gold jewellery, and this one is a ring, and it's a really, really pretty circular design. It looks really nice on um, your index finger, I reckon. So, so pretty. And then, that same day, I got some really cute earrings. I don't know if you can see them <laughs> with my other earrings on. But they're really, really cute and sweet. And um, not, you know, full on dressy, but not too casual. Just a, and they are just a really pretty pop of sparkle to your look. So I really like these. 
And then the other rose gold earrings I am currently wearing, they are just massive rose gold hoops and these ones are from Portman's. And these ones I just bought from a local shop here. Moving on to my next and last piece of jewellery. Um, you might know that my husband and I just celebrated our first wedding anniversary which we are very excited about. And um, I have a Pandora bracelet and for every special thing that happens, special occasion, special event, something that happens in day outside today it's like 21 degrees yesterday it was like 31 and today it's 21 and windy and cold and terrible great spring weather yes so every special little thing that happens in my life I like to buy a Pandora charm to represent that uh, so it's just a beautiful little silver charm that has forever together written on one side and the other sides are blank for you to put on whatever you want to get to put on there and it's really cute and dainty, so I'm really happy about that. And because it's spring here, I bought some new sandals and I'll just get them. Alright, the first pair is by Giovanna, which is probably my favourite brand of shoe out here in Australia. I've got a lot by Giovanna. And these ones are just some really cute sandals. I'll, I will tell you what that is <laughs> later on. <laughs> um, these ones are just like a, um, what do you call this, like a T-strap sort of thing. And then they do up at the side here and they've got the um, hot pink patent uh, strap here with another little buckle and then gold along here which I think is really nice because it's, it's casual but it's just a little bit dressy with the gold on it. And um, so when I bought these, because originally these are like $80. And I'm like, that is ridiculous. <laughs> but my husband was like, well, if you really like them and you'll get a lot of wear out of them because they're a good brand, then just buy them. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> anyway, so when I was trying them on and then deciding, okay, yep, I'm going to buy them, I discovered like a little puncture hole, like through the leather and everything. And I was like, man, that's just going to make them wear and tear even quicker. So I said to the sales assistant, I said, do you have a, um, do you have this uh, same shoe um, in my size because this one has a hole in it and it's just going to wear and tear a lot easier. Um, and she said, no, she doesn't have another pair, but she has them in black and I didn't want them in black because I love the hot pink, you know. And, um, and she said, well, what I can do for you is I can give you um, the staff discount, which I think she said was 30% which brought them back to around $55, so I was like, heck yeah, I'll go for that. <laughs> so I was able to buy these and I was really happy because, <laughs> okay, so that is why I have a little half of a band-aid stuck on here to uh, cover up the tiny little like pinprick hole that's down there. People don't see the band-aid when you're wearing them. <laughs> Only when you take them. Long explanation. <laughs> Moving on to the next pair of shoes. These ones I purchased just at a, at a again, at a shop, a local shop here. And um, they, they're sort of the same kind of style, so the T-strap style. And uh, these are really, really nice to wear. They're really nice and dressy, but casual. And they've got the rose gold accents on here again, so I'm just like automatically attracted to anything that has rose gold on it and I was like oh yeah I'll get those shoes I got some rose gold on them and um yeah and there's some like little crystals um, but they're really cute to wear um, because I've got a high arch in my foot they're a bit tight on me like this way but I figured they will stretch over time I've only worn them a few times um, but they're super pretty they've got a, a mustard sort of color there and um, yeah, they're really cute and I'm sorry, again, these have no brand name on them. Sorry about that. And my other recent purchase, I will pick up the camera and show you because it's my last one. And uh, yeah, we'll go do that now. So this is my other last <laughs> recent purchase. It's actually a lamp and you would not believe where I bought this from or how much it cost me. <laughs> so I got this from the Rejects shop, uh, which is kind of like a sort of like a junkie shop here in Australia um, but occasionally they have really nice stuff in there and it was only 20 bucks and I was like heck yeah I have to get that 
because it's like exactly what I've been looking for. So I'll just turn it on. Isn't that nice? So they've got the acrylic going on there, which is really, really, really nice. I really like that touch. And then that's the actual lampshade there, which is sort of, um, uh, what do you call this? I don't know exactly what you call it, but it's like um, kind of folded in there. Whoops, folded in there. And it's uh, really nice and I'm really happy with it. Yeah, it's a really good lamp for 20 bucks. Really happy with that. All right, so that's it for my October favorites and recent purchases. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.